So far in our work with differential equations, we've looked at finding both the general and specific solution to a second order linear differential equation. What we're now going to do is reduce a more complicated differential equation into one we can solve using a substitution. In this particular question, it says show that the transformation y is equal to xv transforms the equation x squared d2y by dx squared minus 2x dy dx plus the quantity 2 plus 9x squared multiplied by y is equal to x to the fifth into the equation d2v by dx squared plus 9v is equal to x squared. So we've called that one equation 1 and that one equation 2. We need to solve the differential equation 2 to find v as a function of x and then hence state the general solution of differential equation 1. OK, before I start on this, this is going to be pretty much everything that we've put together other than finding a specific solution. If you're not cool with all of the stuff that's been looked at in the previous videos, please do check that as I'll assume a good understanding of how we solve these. OK, so let's start off then. What we've got here now is y is equal, so we're told y is equal to x multiplied by v. I'm going to differentiate both sides with respect to x. That will give me dy by dx. And now we're going to have to differentiate a product. So differentiating with respect to x, I'll get x1 and v and dv by dx. So by the product rule, the derivative with respect to x is going to be x dv by dx plus v. We now want the second derivative. The second derivative on the left, d2y by dx squared. And then what we're going to get is another product. So we'll have x1 dv by dx and then d2v by dx squared. So again, by the product rule, what we're going to get is x d2v by dx squared plus now dv dx. So that's the first of the two terms done. And if I differentiate v with respect to x, I'm going to get another dv by dx. So I'm simply going to write now plus 2 dv dx. I've now rid the equation of y's by expressing y dy dx and d2y by dx squared in terms of x and v. Okay, at this point what I'm going to do is substitute this into the original equation. So what we're going to have then is the following. We'll have x squared and we've got d2y by dx squared. Well this is now d2y by dx squared as we've got it written as x d2v by dx squared plus 2 dv by dx. Then we have minus 2x dy by dx. Well, this right here is now dy by dx. And we get x dv by dx and then plus v. Then we get plus 2 plus 9x squared multiplied by y. Well, y is now xv. And that's going to be equal to x to the fifth. At this stage, you could uh, suggest dividing out by x, but we're only going to do that as we go. So instead, I'm just going to expand out. And we're going to end up now with x cubed d2v by dx squared plus 2x squared dv by dx minus 2x squared dv by dx. And then we're going to have minus 2 xv or vx. Now I'm going to multiply this one out and that's going to give me plus 2vx. Then we're going to have plus 9x squared multiplied by xv which is going to give me plus 9x cubed v and that right there is equal to x to the fifth. What we're going to see at this point right now and we'll just uh, look at these we're going to get some terms cancelling off. This one right here will go with its the one next to it plus or minus the same value would disappear. They've, they've gone. This one here will cancel with that one right there. And you can now see that what we've been left with is x cubed d2v by dx squared plus 9x cubed v is equal to x to the fifth. If we divide through now by x cubed, we've got d2v by dx squared plus 9v will be equal to x squared. And that is the form that they wanted. So a few different ways around that. That's my preferred method. Um, it's not the only way, but it certainly will get us where we want to be. So I've read the equation of what is beforehand, subbed it all in, and then simply um, expanded out and then uh, simplified. 
what we need to do now is solve this differential equation in terms so we're going to express v in terms of x what we can see here is on the left hand side we've got a second order differential equation and on the right side we've got a function of x the general solution general solution will be now equal to the complementary function plus a particular integral now remember the complementary function is the solution to the left hand side of this differential equation when the right hand side zero the particular integral is the solution to the whole differential equation so what we're going to do first is find the uh, complementary function so what we've got then is d2v by dx squared plus 9v we can use the auxiliary equation for this to find our values so what we'll have is m squared plus 9 is equal to 0 that's using the auxiliary function um, what's that going to give us m squared is going to be equal to minus sign so we've got purely imaginary roots and m will be equal to plus or minus the square root of negative 9 will give us m is equal to plus or minus 3i okay at this stage we can now say that v is going to be equal to a cos 3x plus b sine 3x this is of the third type of the differential equations we introduced way back again if you're not seeing that one please have a check of that one so this here is going to be the complementary function we're now going to look at finding a particular integral and we've got an, a, a, a term in x squared so we've got a function in x squared so my particular integral what i'm going to start with is v is going to be equal to p x squared plus qx plus r the derivative dv by dx will be equal to 2px plus q and then the second derivative d2v by dx squared will be equal to 2 uh, what we can have 2p that's it now these will base uh, or form the basis of my particular integral and the way I like to think about this is we've got one of these so it's going to be one of those and then we've got nine of these right here so let's look at the terms in x squared we've got 9px squared plus 9q in fact let's just look at the we'll look at them individually rather than do them all on one go so looking at terms in x squared i'm simply going to have uh, 9px squared then we'll look at the terms in x i'm going to have on here now 9qx and then looking at the constants i'm going to have 9r plus 2p so 9r plus 2p as I stated in all the videos prior to this, you might want to be a bit more explicit in terms of how you sub this into the differential equation. I'm simply writing one lot of those. You might want to put it in its full term here. So what we can see now is 9px squared must be equal to x squared, which gives us that 9p is equal to 1, or p is equal to 1 over 9. 9qx are terms in x we've got none of those so q will be equal to zero we've got no constant so 9r plus 2p must be equal to zero so 9r plus two lots of p which is going to give me 2 over 9 is going to equal zero so subtracting the 2 over 9 from both sides and dividing by 9 r will be equal to what's that minus 2 over 81 uh, so r is going to be that, that looks good to me, minus 2 over 81. So what we can now say then is our particular integral can be given in the form of now, uh, we've got here, uh, p is 1 ninth, so we can write now 1 ninth x squared. We've got no q's and then we've got minus 2 over 81 as our constant. So general solution remember general solution is equal to complementary function plus particular integral so what we can say now is v is going to be equal to a cos of 3x plus b sine of 3x and that there's my complementary function particular integral plus 1 ninth x squared minus uh, 2 over 81 and that is expressing v in terms of x so we've solved now the differential equation for v in terms of x and that's that bit right here so solve differential equation uh, to find v as a function of x and then it says hence state the general solution of differential equation one well we know at this stage that y is equal to xv okay 
So if we just think about this here, y is equal to xv, then we can say y divided by x is going to be equal to v. So at this stage, all I need to do is sub this in. So what I can say then is we know that v is equal to y over x. We can say y over x is going to be equal to a cos 3x plus b sine 3x plus 1 ninth x squared minus 2 over 81. So all we need to do is to express y in terms of x is multiply through by the x or divide through by 1 over, depending on how you want to view it. So y is going to be equal to x, the quantity a cos 3x plus b sine 3x my, uh, plus, isn't it, plus 1 ninth x squared minus 2 over 81. And that is the general solution to the first differential equation by using the substitution y is equal to xv. So y is equal to x, the quantity a cos 3x plus b sine 3x plus 1 ninth x squared minus 2 over 81. So there we go. Uh, putting lots of information together, but hopefully that's made some sense. And that's just one of the many ways that you can approach that problem.